Why hello there everybody, it's been a little while since I sat in this position hasn't it? Welcome back to the channel, I'm in the little wood, also known as Martin. So, uh, this isn't a PO box video, it's not in the little box, but I got a very, very cool package in the post today, I don't know what's inside of it. I had Nina check through it to see whether it was worth recording for an unboxing video, because I know it's from the Pokemon company, but I don't know anything else. So it's the guys at the Pokemon company, Richie specifically, who sent it over to me, and yeah, I just thought I would say thank you to him in advance. So, um, I'm going to jump straight into this thing, it says, uh, hey Martin, Martin, enjoy these. Hope you get some great pulls. Oh, there might be Pokemon cards. Hold on a second. Let's get into this. Hold on a minute. There's all sorts in here by the looks of it already. So, first thing, we have got a good old bag. It's a Pokemon training card game bag, which is pretty cool looking. Look at that. Probably carry my groceries in that thing. Look at that. Next up, it looks like we've got a load of plushies. We have got a uh, Meow Stick. There you go. One of my favourite ones from the Breakpoint collection. I really, really like that one. Especially its artwork as well. Uh, we have, of course, got a Pikachu. This is cool. It's got the slight ear going down to the side as well. And I've finally, I've been saying this for years on this channel, that I'm going to divide all of my shelves up into like Pokemon, Zelda, Mario, and then just general Ninty stuff. Finally done it. I think you can get a sneak peek of just there. Can you see the animal? Crossing and Splatoony stuff going on. We have got a Froki. Yeah, look at that. So it's one of the older generation starters, and we just had the brand new ones from Sun and Moon announced the other day. In the comment section below, which of the um, which of the starters from Sun and Moon are you going to go for, and which title as well? I'd be curious just to kind of gauge your interest in those. But we got that one. Uh, we have of course got a Chespin. Look at this guy. I can't even remember who I chose during this generation. I think it might have been Chespin because I typically go for grass types because it's in the little wood and the saplings and all that, but there you go, there's another plushie. Ooh, okay. Wait, is this? I need to Google this, hold on, hold on. Oh my God, it is, dudes. Right, okay, look at this. So, <laughs> if you don't know by now, I do uh, unboxings of Pokemon cards on my second channel. I've been doing the Breakpoint collection, and then also I've been unboxing the Mythical collection this year, which is basically every month, they've been releasing one promo card of a legendary Pokemon from the past, you know, decade or two, um, and then also giving you two Generations booster packs. And the generation set is kind of like some of the best cards from, you know, all of the time that the TCG game has been going. And there is a brand new set out, that I was kind of apprehensive about getting into because I didn't know if I wanted to drop all that money on it, but now I'm not going to have to. They've sent me a bloody booster box. So this will have, I think, something like 36 packs of the brand new Fates Collide Pokemon cards. Oh my god, okay. And then it'll also have uh, a Lugia in there. So they sent me a pre-made Lugia deck. And as well as that, they have sent me a Zygarde deck. God damn it, this is so cool. And then just beneath that, there is also a very, very cool looking collector's album, which I think will probably list out all of the different cards that are inside of the collection. This is one of the best packages I've ever received. Look at that. So you can see like all the Pokemon that you're gonna get inside of it. You can see on this page, you got like Horlucha and Meowth and all that other good stuff. God, now I'm gonna have to collect Fates Collide. I can't believe this. This is crazy. So I tell you what, I'm gonna unbox these two on this channel and we're gonna look through all of the cards in each of the decks. And then after that, you can go over to my second channel in the Little Woods where I'll open the entire of the booster box over the duration of a couple of videos. All right, so we got both the cards down on the table. Which should we go for first? I'm gonna go for Lugia because I'm more familiar with Lugia. Um, I actually chose silver back in the day as opposed to gold, so there you go. Um, so that's what the front of the box looks like. I'm gonna scan up and down it ever so slightly. And then we are gonna have a little nosy at the readings. So it reads, Fire and Storm, unleash a storm of battle with the legendary Pokemon of the seas, Lugia. With the fiery wings of Moltres and the mystic flame of Delphox, you'll burn through opposition in a flash with the Sky Guardian theme deck. Light it up. And then you got Lugia, number 249. You've got a massive deck list of all of the Pokemon we're going to see inside of it um, and also the listing of the types of cards and the items that are going to be in there as well. So let's open this bad boy up. So if I wiggle that off, there we go. The coin's already fallen out. But the most important part of these unboxing videos I do is the QR code. So if you're the first person to get it, congrats. Otherwise, better luck next time. And then let's move on to uh, the basic type Lugia. It's got 120 HP. It's got uh, an ability called Pressure. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, any damage done by attacks from your opponent opponent's active Pokemon is reduced by 20, and that's before applying weakness and resistance as well. And then it's got Intensify and Burn, which is 60 plus, good god. It requires 3 of any energy, and if your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon EX, this attack does 60 more damage, good god. It's got a uh, times 2 weakness to electricity type Pokemon, and it's got a resistance of minus 20 to ground types as well, and it costs 2 to retreat. 
So also inside of this box, we have got ourselves a really, really cool looking uh, Lugia coin. So that's the head side and the tail side, as always, is just the Pokemon logo. You've got your damage counters and your poison counters, all that good stuff. Um, the usual mat that you play on with the rule set. And now it is on to the Bad Mama Jamma, the deck. So it's actually got a really, really nice cardboard deck. It shares the same art as you see on the uh, on the retail boxing as well. So let's jump into it. We have got Fairy Energy, Fairy Energy, Fairy Energy. Keep going through those. Right, here we are. We've got a Meowth, which is looking pretty cool. We've got a Wally. We've got some Fire Energy. We've got a, a Wimmy Scott. I can definitely say I've never seen that Pokemon before. A Fennekin. Oh, Fennekin and Chikorita finally met. So um, when I unboxed the Breakpoint cards, there was a picture where one or the other was looking through a portal and they could see each other through it, um, but they were never actually in the same picture, like in the same physical space. So that card makes me very happy. Uh, we have got an Ultra Ball. We've got another Fairy Energy. Breakson is looking very chuffed with herself. She looks very happy right now. We've got a Snubble who I can't tell if he's playing Hide or Seek or if he's just trashed the place and woken up in like a, a drunken slur. <laughs> Hungover Snubble. We got a Whimsa, Fire Energy, Pokemon Fan Club. We got a Shauna. We got a Pokemon Center Lady. And then we got Fire Energy again. We got a Jigglypuff and we got a Snivy. And I want to say that Pokemon's called S Sproink. Or is that a Yokai? I don't remember, but it's got him there as well. Uh, we got a Tierno, which is probably one of my uh, favorite cards in the deck that I built to play Kim. We got a Cottony. Another Fire Energy. We got a Kangas card. Wow, look at that. That is a pretty badass Kangaskhan card. Got a Mega Punch for 100 and Tiny Punch for 40. I like to think that the Tiny Punch is the little Kangaskhan inside of there. Does the does the little bit. We got Professor's Letter. We got a Fairy Drop. We've got... Actually, what does Fairy Drop do? I'm not familiar with that card. Um, it heals 50 damage from one of your Pokemon that has a Fairy Energy attached to it. Ah, okay. We got another Fire Energy. We got a Wigglytuff. I actually quite like the art on that as well. It's really cute. Who's that in the background? I don't think I recognise the girl in the background as being one of the characters from the anime. Strange. Uh, who we got next? Oh, it's another Whimsor. So we're bound to find a few dupes. Oh, we got a Loudred. Bloody hell, okay. Fire Energy. An Energy Pouch. What do you do? So, if the Pokemon this card is attached to is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, put all basic energy attached to your Pokemon into your hand. That's actually really good. Like, when, when your energy goes to the discard pile, it's always a bad time. Uh, we got another Fen We've got another Jigglypuff, got some more Fairy Energy, another Meowth, oh dear. We've got another Kangaskhan, Moltres, there it is, look at that. It's not hollow, it's not reverse hollow or anything, it's just a straight up cartoon version of Moltres. It's got Flying Flare for 80+, plus. you may do 40 more damage if you do, this Pokemon does 20 damage to itself. So yeah, you can like sacrifice a little health in order to rock it out. There we go, we've got another Fire Energy, we've got another Wimiscot, we've got another Snubble, we got another Fennekin. We got another Fairy Energy. Another Breakson. I'm guessing from here on out. Oh, wait, what? Another Lugia? You get two Lugias in one deck. Huh. Oh, I guess this one's not hollow, though. So one is hollow and the other isn't, if you can see from that. Obviously, the sun glare in this office today makes that one look like it was suddenly hollow, but it's not. It's not. Uh, another Fire Energy. We got another Cottony. We got another Loudred. We got a Professor's Letter. Fire Energy. Meowth. Ah, uh, Tierno. Uh, whoa, there it is. Final form. We've got a Del Fox. It's got Flickering Flames for 40. Um, and your act What? Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. That's actually quite good. Uh, and also Psy Storm as well. This attack does 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to all the Pokemon in play. So wait, does that mean including the opponent's Pokemon? That's mental. Okay, that's really good. Um, we've got a Fairy Energy. And no oh, we got another Wigglytuff. Another Whimsor. We got a Snorlax. Hello, buddy. He's got Toss and Turn. This attack can be used even if this Pokemon is asleep. If it is, the attack does 90 more damage. That's actually a really good way of warding people off. Who's in there with the art with Snorlax as well? Oh, they're really weird, warpy-looking dreams. That's a really creepy-ass card. But anyway, we got that one. We got another Fire Energy, and that is our lot. All right, Lugia box to one side, and we're bringing in the Zygarde. So the back of the Zygarde reads, Rule the battle with the legendary Pokemon of order and control, Zygarde. With Lucario's Fists of Justice and Superior's... Ugh, I can never say that Pokemon name. <laughs> crushing Coils, you'll uh, bring order to chaos and seize the moment with the Battle Ruler theme deck. On to victory! And it's number 718. 
got all the listings inside, but we don't want to give any spoilers for now. Let's get into it. All right, come here, you. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, that card's stuck in the top. We'll look at the Zygarde in a moment. There's your QR code, pokemon.com forward slash TC go, and it's gone so fast. All right, here we go. Here's the Zygarde. So... Let's have a little looky. It's a ground type, 120 HP. It's got the ability Rumble. The defending Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn. And that does 30 damage as well. And then we've got Geo Strike for 120 damage. Uh, and it says this attack does 10 damage to each of your benched Pokemon. But of course, you're pouring out so much damage to the opposing team that 10 isn't that much to try and heal up afterwards. Zygarde is so weird looking that I don't really know which way up the coin is supposed to live, but I guess that's it. <laughs> And then I'm guessing all of the contents of the rest of the box will be exactly the same as last time. So, let's hop in to the actual deck itself. And here we go! Grass energy, grass energy, grass energy, grass energy. A shuckle. Oh, look at that shuckle. Catching some rays. We've got another Wally that we saw before. We've got a ground energy. There's Riolu. Oh, Riolu's so cute. Smash punch for 13. We've got a Cincino. That's quite cute. And it's not often you come across the Cincinos in the uh, in the handheld game, but there's one of those. We've got a regular potion. We've got a ground energy, a Mincino, which is the teeny tiny babby form of Cincino. Uh, we've got Deerlings. I actually really like the Deerlings. They're probably one of my favourite like looking Pokemon of the past few generations. We got a Servine, yes, straight out of the Snivy form. We got a Leaf Energy or Grass Energy. Uh, we got a Popatar. Oh, okay, so this is where we're going with this deck. There's Snivy. That's Really nice Snivy art as well. Let's have a little closer look at that. We are moving on to, when the camera wants to focus, to the Wormadam. Again, don't think I've ever heard of that Pokemon. My bad. We've got a Ground Energy. We've got a Horlucha. I've definitely seen this guy before. Uh, what's his attacks like, actually? He's got Wicked Jab for 30, and he's got Backflip. Let's you draw a card. It's actually quite good. We got a Shauna. We got a Burmy. Now, Burmy I've seen before, and I could have sworn that Burmy evolves into, yeah, Wormadam. I've obviously just never evolved one. We got a ground energy. We got a Tierno. We got a Larvitar. I've always liked Larvitar. Its name and its stylings are really, really cool. It's got Mountain Munch to discard the top card of your opponent's deck and also the Corkscrew Punch for 20 damage. We got a Professor's Letter. We got another ground energy. We got a Pokemon Fan Club. We got another Servine. We got a Switch. Switch your active Pokemon with one of your benched ones. Grass energy. We got Zygarde non hollow, so we've already seen him before. We got another Snivy another Riolu, we got another Ground Energy, another Mincino, Energy Pouch, that card that I just learned about in the previous deck, wow, look at that, Superior, it's looking badass, uh, during your next turn, this is for Coil, this Pokemon's attack does 60 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon, and then also Slashing Strike for 80, and this Pokemon can't use Slashing Strike during your next turn, well that's kind of a shame, but I guess it makes sense, be too OP otherwise, Ground Energy and Shuckle, we got Tia no, we've got another dealing, grass energy, Holucha, Professor's Letter, and all of the dupes are coming through. Is there going to be anything fresh towards the end of the deck? Aha, there is. A Carbink. I don't think I've seen you before either. Your ability is called the Energy Keeper. Basic energy attached to your Pokemon can't be discarded by effects or your opponent's attacks, abilities, or trainer cards. And then it's also got Stone Edge as well, so you can flip a coin. If it's heads, this attack does 30 more damage on top of the 60 that it already seems to do. There you go. It's now got back to normal. Uh, all the dupes. Anything else going to be new towards the back? Oh, Puppetar. It's got Thrash for 20 plus. Flip a coin. If heads, this attack does 20 damage. If tails, this Pokemon does 20 damage to itself. Oh dear. Grass Energy. Burmy. Switch. And the final card, Lucario. Oh, Ground Energy at the back. But then Lucario is right the way at the back. It's got Beat Down for 40 and Magnum Kick for 70 damage. Well, there we go, everybody. That was a very unexpected surprise. Um, that is it for today's video. If you want to check out more Pokemon unboxings, head on over to my second channel. It's called In the Little Woods. Uh, it's just a little S at the end of the usual username. I'm going to be opening the entirety of this booster box of Pokemon X and Y Fates Collide. It'll probably be about three or four videos. I'll kind of pace it similar similarly to the previous unboxing that I did of the last booster box I got. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.